Have you ever gone on a day hike or overnight backpacking trip and not had a first aid kit? Having a first aid kit in your pack, whether you're just out for the day or spending multiple nights out on trail is not something to skip or overlook. Don't have a backpacking first aid kit? Have no idea what to put in a backpacking first aid kit? No problem. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create a backpacking first aid kit you can use on your next day hike or overnight backpacking trip. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video about backpacking, backpacking food, and tips on how to plan your next backpacking trip. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, solo long distance backpacker, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. Having a backpacking first aid kit, just like always having the 10 essentials with you whenever you're out in the backcountry, is a necessity. It's like insurance. You might not need it every time you go hiking or backpacking, but if you find yourself in a situation where you actually need it, you'll be really happy you have it with you. A backpacking first aid kit is hopefully the one gear system you carry that you'll never need to use. So why carry a backpacking first aid kit? Having a backpacking first aid kit helps you be better prepared to be self-reliant in the event you get sick, injured, or find yourself in an emergency situation out on trail. Your backpacking first aid kit can give you a better chance of being able to rescue yourself depending on where you're at, how far out on the trail you are, and current weather conditions. If something happens where you need medical assistance or need to be rescued, it can sometimes take first responders a few hours or even a day or two before they're able to reach you, even if you have a satellite communicator with two-way messaging. Having a backpacking first aid kit can help you treat a range of trail injuries and illnesses until you're able to get back to the trailhead and off trail. A backpacking first aid kit can also be used in non-emergency situations and treat common injuries and illnesses like blisters, pain relief, an upset stomach, or a sprained ankle. My recommendation when packing for any hiking or backpacking trip, always prepare for the worst case scenario. Now before I go any further into this video, I want to make it very clear that I am not a licensed medical professional. I'm an avid day hiker and backpacker who has hiked hundreds and maybe even a few thousand miles out in the backcountry. If you plan on traveling in the backcountry, whether it's for a day hike or an overnight backpacking trip by yourself or with a group, I highly recommend getting some sort of first aid training before going out for your next trip. Start by taking a first aid class either online or in person. And if you're really serious about your first aid training, consider getting either a wilderness first aid or a wilderness first aid responder certification. I'm currently wilderness first aid certified because it's that important to me that I know what to do in an emergency situation when out on trail. Having this type of experience and knowledge can possibly help save your life or someone else's. When I first started backpacking, I started with a big, bulky, and heavy pre-made first aid kit. At the time, I had the bigger means better mentality when it came to my backpacking first aid kit. The problem was that the kit was way too big for what I needed it for, and I didn't know half the things that were in there. It wasn't until I was taking a backpacking class at a local REI where the instructor took one look at my oversized first aid kit and asked me, what are you, search and rescue? After that class, I downsized my backpacking first aid kit by creating my own based on what I thought I might need for the types of trips that I was going on. We're all gonna have different trip objectives and needs when out on trail. What works for me might not work for you. So figure out what you'll need based on who you're going with and the types of trips you plan on going on. Here's some things I take into consideration when building my backpacking first aid kit. My trip objective and any activities I plan on doing along the way, the length of my trip, how many people I'll be going out on trail with, like if I'm going out solo or with a group, where I'm going and the type of terrain I'll be hiking in, any potential environmental concerns I might have to deal with like extreme weather or high elevation, any anticipated illnesses and possible risks I might encounter along the way, weight and space limitations, and how I want to keep my kit organized. I recommend making your own backpacking first aid kit based on your specific needs and tailored for the types of trips you plan on going on. This way you'll know exactly what's in your kit and will know how to use everything in your kit. Here are all the items I currently have in my backpacking first aid kit. Alcohol wipes, antibiotic ointment, a blister repair kit including leukotape, a safety pin, moleskin, extra alcohol wipes, and extra antibiotic ointment. Yes, I carry a whole roll of leukotape instead of individual pieces because the one time I didn't bring the roll with me, I ran out of leukotape and wish I had just left the whole roll in my backpacking first aid kit. So now, the whole roll is always in my kit. 
bandages in various sizes including steri strips to help close up wounds and skin tack wipes to act as an adhesive for the steri strips. A syringe. This can be used with water to help clean out an open wound before applying an antibiotic ointment and then closing it up. A classic Swiss Army knife. This is my favorite multi-tool because it's small, light, and has many uses including a small knife and a nail file. My most favorite and probably most used feature are the scissors. These come in handy out on trail all the time. There's also a small pair of tweezers you can use to remove splinters and ticks, and there's even a small toothpick if you need to get something out of your teeth. A pair of nail clippers over-the-counter medications like aspirin, which is an anti-inflammatory that can be used to reduce fevers and relieve pain from headaches, muscle aches, and any other types of body aches. Ibuprofen to help reduce pain. Tylenol, a non-aspirin pain reliever. Urinary pain relief in case you're the lucky recipient of a urinary tract infection when out in the backcountry. Imodium to help relieve diarrhea and an antihistamine like Benadryl that can be used for allergies or to help treat an allergic reaction. I also have a couple leftover prescriptions like Diamox to use in case of altitude sickness or as a way to prevent symptoms of altitude sickness and a prescription to help treat a Giardia infection. A couple of electrolytes, I personally like to use liquid IV. Water purification tablets, which are my backup water filtration system for every trip I go on. And as a side note, any medications you decide to include in your backcountry first aid kit, make sure all of your medications are individually wrapped, dated, labeled, and include a description of its intended usage. You don't wanna guess when you're out in the backcountry without cell service or Wi-Fi service and in an emergency situation. And it's always a good idea to go through your kit once a year, like either at the beginning or the end of the backpacking season, just to make sure none of the medications in your kit have expired. And if they have, get rid of them and replace them with new ones. A pair of latex gloves, a mini CPR mask, an ACE bandage to use in the event you need support and compression for any twists, sprains, strains, or other minor joint injuries. An ankle brace to help stabilize your ankle if you roll or sprain it. This is one thing I never knew I needed until I kept experiencing ankle issues during a long distance backpacking trip. Now I always have one in my kit. A SWAT tee, which is an easy to use and effective stretch and tuck tourniquet that can be used to help control extremity bleeding. Quick clot to help stop bleeding. A pen and a small notebook to take notes in along with my patient assessment card I received with my WUFA training. And a stuff sack to store my backpacking first aid kit in. The base weight for my entire backpacking first aid kit comes in over a pound at 24.6 ounces. Not the lightest system I carry in my pack, but having these items in my backpacking first aid kit helps me feel safe and confident whether it's me who gets sick or injured out on trail or I come across another hiker who might need help. Not only is it important to have a backpacking first aid kit and bring it with you on your hiking and backpacking trips, but it's also equally important to know how to use all the items in your kit. Also, don't forget to restock your backpacking first aid kit after each trip you go on. Get in the habit of restocking your kit whenever you're putting your gear away from your trip. If you use something in your kit, make sure to restock it so that you have everything you need and you're ready to go for your next trip. I'll post links of everything I have in my backpacking first aid kit down in the video description box below. If you're interested in signing up for a wilderness first aid class, I highly recommend checking out Knowles, the American Red Cross, the Mountaineers, and even your local REI for classes either online or in person near you. I'll include links down below for more information on how you can find a first aid class near you. I really hope this video has been helpful and inspiring for any of you who have been wanting to put together your own backpacking first aid kit or have been wanting to update the kit that you've been using for hiking and backpacking. So tell me in the comments below, what's the one thing in your backpack Packing first aid kit that you would never hike without. If you're planning on packing for an overnight backpacking trip in the near future, I've put together a free backpacking gear packing list that is designed to help you get organized when planning your next trip. Get your free packing list by clicking the link in the video description below. If you like this video and got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy trails and keep on trucking. Yay! Oh, shit.